Today I'm going to show you a simple trick of what to do whenever you're hungry and there's no food in sight. Like right now, I am very hungry. And all I can see right now is that basket of fruit on my desktop. Hmm. What should I do? Just watch this. Wow. Hmm. Go on, Finn. You wanna have some? <laughs> Babe, you wanna have some? Two apples. Simple. It's another day at Creative Warehouse. Welcome. So let's get started. Today's trick is very, very, very simple. You don't need to be a professional editor to be able to pull it off. It just requires your creativity. To pull this off, all we needed to do was get our fruit basket, put it in front of a backdrop, a white backdrop, and recorded it. And then the next thing was I put in my hand and grab the apple. That was all I needed to do. The idea is put a video on my system as though it's a desktop picture. And then time when I put in my hand to pick the apple. All I need to do is as I deep put my hand behind my system, I just time it and make it look as though it's the same thing from the video. Though there's a bowl of apple behind my system, my screen, right? But here lies the problem. It was very difficult to do. Getting the perfect timing for this was very difficult. Sometimes it's either the, the, the hand in the video would have gone in first to pick the apple before mine or would have probably pulled out before mine. It was so frustrating because we did it a couple of times, but the timing just wasn't right. And then I said, cut the crap. Let's go for another option. And that brought about our second option. A green screen! All we needed was go online, get a green screen image, and put it on our desktop. Very, very simple. Funny enough, this was a simpler option that I didn't even think of initially. So that was what we did. Face it on the camera, in post, the whole idea is to just replace the green screen with our video. So the timing really didn't matter because I could manipulate that in the edits, right? If you're liking this video so far, please smash the like button. And if you haven't subscribed, please click on the subscribe button right now and the notification icon so that you keep getting videos when we release new videos. So let's go into Premiere Pro for some edits. All right, right now we're in Premiere Pro. The first thing we need to do is select our clip and then decide the in and out point. Drag it onto the timeline then push it to track two because we're going to be needing another video for the track one. Then we go look for our fruit video, select our in and out point, and then drag it to the timeline that's on track one. Next is to key the green screen out. So you go to effect panel and ultra key. Then you drag it to the video layer and go to our effect control, take the eyedropper, Click it on the green screen on my on the laptop and boah. See? Yeah, that's keyed it out. So right now the fruit video is transparent. So you click on the fruit video and scale it down so as to fit it to the dimension of the laptop. That's all. The next you want to do right now is align it. Align it such that the video and my hand are in alignment, are in sync. Great, I've been able to do that. Very simple. So we move on. The next thing we want to do is, just before my hand gets to the screen, it cuts the video before that. You drag it to the beginning of the video, to the very first frame of the video, and then right click on it and click on frame hold. Once you do that, you drag the remaining part of to go join the video. Once you join the video, what you have done is you, you've made it an image and not a video. Do the same thing after I've taken out the apple. You right click on it and click on frame hold and then drag it to the rest of the video. Like I said, you have frozen it. It has become an image. So it's only that part where my hand goes in that's a video. The rest are pictures. 
Okay. Now, to make it realistic, we need to blur out the, the picture, the fruit picture, a bit because the laptop is in the distance and it's a bit blurred. So go to effect panel, click on camera blur and put it on the video, the fruit video. Go to effect control and reduce it to seven. Voila, right now the fruit image is realistic because it has blended with the background. So that's all about the edit guys. So that's pretty much all it takes to get this trick done. And that's about the size of today's episode. I hope you enjoyed it, hope you found it entertaining and educative because that is what we do at Creative Warehouse. And until we see you next time, always be creative and have fun at it.